Hello, in this video, we will overview the video block in Gutenberg editor and we will see what the options we have for this block and, and how to use the, this block. And there is also a difference in embedding a video and using the video block which we will explain in this video. So let's start the, by reviewing the by adding the video block. You can obviously add the block a video block by like any other block in different ways. You can click from here and search for the video block and click it, or you can click this plus icon and search for the video block and add it, or you can just take the paragraph block and start typing by the forward slash and type video and hit enter and the video block will get added so now this what this block allows you is to display your self hosted or uploaded uh, or uh, or uploaded to media library video file in a simple video player this is not for embedding the YouTube or Vimeo or daily motion videos. You can embed the video directly. We will see uh, that a bit later. So uh, you can you this simply pass a URL of the video file here, or you can select the video file from the media library. So let's say we have a file here. I've selected it, and you see this the video has been edit and it's being played this is a simple video player which you'll see uh, on the website front end as well now you can also write a caption for the video here and for the controls we got few controls and the block toolbar this is divided into two parts this one is the alignment controls this will align the video to left center right and this one will allow you to edit the video again so you can basically click on this and change the video suppose i need to change it i can change the url here or i can select a different video from the my media library and then it will get updated from the toolbar block to toolbar sidebar control or inspector control there are no additional controls right now for the video block there is just this additional css class control which allows you to add a custom class to this block or this div so you can pass some extra styling to this block if you wish so this is the video block basically pretty simple pretty straightforward not uh, not complicated but one thing uh, i would also like to show you is if you wish to uh, not uh, you if you are uh, using not using the self-hosted video or, or you wish to and you wish to uh, embed a video from YouTube or so you just need to go go to your video and by the way this is our YouTube channel uh, if you if you like you can subscribe it uh, you just need to open the video and copy the video URL from here or from the URL bar basically or you can also copy the URL from here. Simply copy this uh, and go to your page and you, you simply take the paragraph and paste the URL. At the moment you paste the URL, you'll see this that the URL basically is converted into a embedded video player of uh, of of the service you are using so, like in this case i pasted the url from youtube and i got a nice youtube player automatically so this toolbar this block this is basically not the same as the video block this is the embed service for from which is uh, available in gutenberg so you do not confuse the video block with the embeddable player block or the embed service as you can see this block is the embed block which allows you to easily add embedded video images or there are different kind of embed services which you can review by going to the wordpress codec codex.wordpress.org slash embeds and you'll see all the available embed services 
which you can use uh, so you just need to paste the URL on the page and the Gutenberg editor will automatically convert it to an embedded code or player or whatever so uh, so this video embedded player is different than the video blog in general so hope this makes it clear um, there's nothing more complicated over here hope you enjoy, you're enjoying the Gutenberg uh, overview videos thanks for watching bye bye